Hello everyone, my name's Simon, and today I'm reflecting on the letter F. Jesus is the fulfilment of the Old Testament prophecies about the coming of the Messiah. The fulfilled prophecy I'm choosing today is one I've always avoided preaching about or even reflecting on very much because it is so bleak and tragic, and yet it is fully part of the Christmas story. Matthew 2.17 says, Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Rama, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. Matthew associates this prophecy, given some 600 years earlier, with the reaction of King Herod when he realises he has been tricked by the Magi. He orders the killing of all the male children in Bethlehem under the age of two, perhaps some 15 or 20 of them, in the hope that by doing so he will also kill Jesus, whom he saw as a threat to his throne. So why have I chosen this of all fulfilled prophecy? Because I think it's important to sometimes cut through the Christmas nativity gloss and confront the realities of what actually took place. Yes, there were wise men. Yes, there were shepherds. Yes, there were choirs of angels. Yes, there was a stable. Yes, there was great rejoicing. But there was also state-sponsored terror and unimaginable grief. And isn't that what Christmas can be like for us? Not so extreme, I sincerely hope, but the same mixture of emotions and experience. A time of great rejoicing and hope, a time of great grief and loss. Jesus himself is the fulfilment of Isaiah 53, the man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. So I'm comforted that we celebrate the birth of a saviour who identifies in every way with our weaknesses and temptations, our sufferings and our sorrows, as well as our joys and our victories. Paul declares in 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4, Praise be to the God of our and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble uh, with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So today, in this Advent season, may you both receive and share the comfort of God in word and in action. Amen.